Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Stupid Gum Myths. I'm Mike B, coming at you from Mommy's Basement. And today we're going to be talking about one that's been brought up in the comments of the other videos that seem to have blown up in the past few days, and I don't know why, but if people like them, like they've been saying in the comments, I keep making them. Now this one is from the comments. I'm going to basically have an endless series to do from the looks of it. Um, about certain myths and stuff. And today we're going to be talking about the one where the revolver cylinder spins every time it's reloaded or opened and makes a bunch of clicks every time it spins. Now, I've seen a lot of people with these videos and the recent influx of viewers in the past few days commenting with, basically, if I make a video about a myth, it's like they try to find the one possible exception and they're like, oh, gotcha! <laughs> well, that's not the point of me making these videos. With every myth, there's actually some truth that it at least stems from, or yes, there can be exceptions. The myth, basically, is something that, like I'll show you in this video, something that it can be partially true and can be true, but 90% of the time or more, it's not the case. And it's just basically something that's a blanket statement that applies to everything. Now... Hollywood is horrible for this. This is where a lot of my myths come from because it's genuinely, genuinely and generally don't really sound that well when you say them together. Jesus, get your shit together, Mike. Um, anyway, they just generally don't get it right and then people genuinely, there we go, got it out, believe these things. Like it's just common knowledge, I guess, and it's really not. And one of those is the fact that you know, when somebody opens up uh, the cylinder on a revolver, whether it's to reload or, you know, whatever, and they go, which is fun for the cylinder and really, I don't know, it, it's not really good for the timing on this stuff, but I've never had a problem with it. So I wouldn't recommend spinning it like that. Or, but for the sake of this video, it's not going to hurt doing it a couple times. Well, if you notice there, when I took that out, the cylinder is wide open, right? So closed, open. Oh, it didn't make a clicking sound every time it spun, and it spun pretty freely. And then, yeah, when they when they go, which is also not too good for the timing. I'm just, again, a couple times it's not going to hurt it. I know everybody, oh, you have rust on your guns. Oh, you're going to ruin your guns if you do that. And Okay, cool. Watch your own bobber. Um, anyway, so that's the Ruger GP100, which is an extremely common model in the United States. Uh, it's in a lot of films, too, and a lot of TV shows. I'm the revolver, I'm not talking about the, you know, when you pull it out, oh, no physical action was done, but the gun clicked. And now we're going to move on to the cylinder going, oh, well, there's no audible clicks there. Well, maybe we'll get lucky with some other various revolvers that have been seen in films. We'll go with the um, Smith & Wesson Model 10-6. Again, super rusty. Oh, oh my God, the, the humanity, what a travesty. This thing was almost rusty when I got it. It's a shooter grade from AIM Surplus, which is awesome. Just kind of show this off. I don't think I made a video on this, like a, just talking about it. New York Department of Corrections, which is pretty cool. You can see that right there. I thought it was a pretty sweet deal. I think it was like 200 bucks or something a few years ago because the grip is worn and it's got some holster wear. Big fucking deal. Uh, anyway, all right, I, get, I, I really like this little gun. So this one also opens up, right? Let's see. Let's just listen to the audible sound. Well, that one could be lubed up a little bit, so it's making a kind of weird sound. But are, do you hear any metallic clicking? No. It spins freely, because if it had a metallic clicking like that, uh, something would be wrong with your cylinder. There'd be something lodged in there. So I want to get that checked out. Anyway, so that's the Smith & Wesson model 10.6. I just tried to get a bunch of different manufacturers, a bunch of different um, styles. So this would be the Taurus model 66. These are actually pretty affordable and pretty accurate. I'm going to make another video of this this year. It's pretty fun. Nothing. No clicking. I'm just going through this. You guys can see for yourselves. We'll get closer. Yeah, it makes an absolute faint bit of noise. Uh, but, again, you're probably not going to hear that in a film. You're going to hear the... It's going to sound like a machine gun, but in a revolver cylinder. It's going to be a nice little dainty machine gun. Now, we'll go with an older one. Another This is, a, this is going to be a Colt. So, we've got Smith & Wesson, Ruger, Taurus, and now a Colt, Model 1917. Also could use some lube. <laughs> no clicking. And guess what? Even when the, the cylinders are locked up, they don't move freely. So if people just go like this, 
when the you know the cylinder's in the weapon, you really can't do that. Now these are all guns that are pretty kind. Well, maybe not that one, but these are guns that are pretty commonly found in uh, TV and, and films. So yeah, it's, see, it's not moving. It doesn't make that sound. Now all those four guns being being uh, kind of shown that as an example. Here is the exception, and here is the only exception I can see. This is an M1895 Nagant revolver. It's a pretty unique little gun. Uh, I guess, I don't know, I've made videos on it in the past. Oh, there's rust on this one, too. <laughs> God, I'm so embarrassed. I'm going to get, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a scolding in the comments from all the experts. Um, anyway, so this is an 1895 Nagant. This is just, God, these are so overpriced. But anyway, that's another rant for another video. Uh, they're really cool. They're nice little guns. And what's interesting is like, yeah, when the hammer's down, um, there's, it's, they're all clear guys. Like you've seen, oh, but what do we got here? Oh my God. There's our sound. There's our sound, our magical sound and the hammer is down. So whew, getting a little excited there. I'll have to finish that one off later. Split the winnings. Um, anyway, but when the hammer is back, that's not happening because it locks up and everything. If you don't know about this gun, I'll try to make another video. Um, this cylinder does not pop out, though. That's the thing. So, like, this one, to reload it, you pop the cylinder out. You know, bam, hit the ejector. Speed loader goes in. You got to spin it dramatically. So, it makes that, this sound. Even that doesn't make the same sound they do in the films because it stops early because it's not supposed to really do that. Um, well, it is supposed to do that. That's how you load it, actually. Bam. Move it. And that's the function of that. For these, the cylinder that pops out, you don't need that function. You don't need it to be able to spin freely um, because it only needs to spin freely when, again, the cylinder is popped out of the revolver and not making that noise. <gasps> Ooh, it just barely did it to lock up. Did you hear that? I think I got it to do it. Maybe our myth is uh, proven. Yeah, but then it locks up immediately. And most of the time in the films and TV, it's it's when you're just spinning it freely like that. And then, yeah, whatever. So basically, yeah, there's some truth to it. I'm sure there's other models of revolver. There's people, I gotta find the exception and make the world know that I, I know everything. Um, but that's fine. Like, this is mainly a myth. Most revolvers, modern revolvers, I mean, this is a hundred and something years old. These designs are a hundred years old. They really haven't changed that much. They're not going to make that stupid sound when you're, when you got the cylinder popped out and you're throwing a, another <clears throat> cylinder full of rounds in there. It's just not going to happen. So that's, you know, again, you'll find the exception. You'll be like, well, this, you know, this can happen, all that. But as a rule, it's generally, okay, so I've got five handguns on the table, right? Four out of five of those, so that's 80%, did not do that. So I bet you if I had more out here, it would the number would climb to like 95 to 99 percent of the guns don't do that and this one technically didn't even really do it um it, it didn't spin like that it was just kind of weird now again the exceptions are probably older black powder weapons that also have the same kind of feature where they can spin like that but they're not going to spin freely like again really quick example that's spinning pretty freely right this oops sorry it stops right away because it's again, it's not made for spinning. It doesn't serve a purpose. It's made for reloading. So anyway, there's that. That's all I've got. Uh, might be the older black powder pistols where the thing stemmed from, but as a rule, guys, revolvers do not make a noise when you pop the cylinder out and spin them to reload them. So, all right, that's all I've got. I think I'll stop talking in circles, even though I don't know. I kind of like it. It's fun to talk in circles and, People get irritated and butt hurt. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to definitely end the video now. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. I'm really kind of happy this series is blowing up because it's really fun for me to make. And, and uh, you know, it's you just show off some of my guns and stuff. But I also get to use props and show you physically that, yeah, it, it is what it is. Uh, instead of just explaining that it's a myth, I show you guys physically. And it's a little bit easier for people to have cognitive dissonance when they actually see it right in front of them. But isn't that the whole point of cutting the dissonance? All right, anyway, I'm getting off on a topic. Become a Patreon supporter. It helps fund the channel for cool videos like this, shooting videos, other things like that. Uh, dollar a month gets you in. 
Go check that out. Become a supporter. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next video or on the next episode of Stupid Gun Maths.